I mean, everything you've said has really matched what I, I've always thought. Because your whole point of leaving a legacy is something I, I, I struggled with when I started getting into the deen. Mm. I always thought, like, you know, I just want to practice my deen. Yeah. Uh, you pray, you read your Quran, you give your zakat, you fast, and, you know, that's, that's it. Yeah. But as you start learning, as you start reading, like you mentioned, the Prophet and same. the Khalifas, the Allah Ta'ala, mm-hmm. and you start to realize that, you know, as a Muslim, we have a bigger responsibility. Yeah. And especially when you come into these leadership roles. So for me, it would be um, at the MSA for you with the halaqa and everything you've done here at the Mashad, mashallah. I feel it, you have a responsibility to be more than just that, right? Mm. And looking at the Khalifas, I think it's, they're the absolute best role models. Because sometimes when people think of the Prophet Sassam, they think he's this amazing prophet of Allah and I can never be like him. Yeah. We can't. <laughs> but the, the Khalifa, the the Sahaba, Allah ta'ala anhu, uh-huh. they were humans just like yeah. us. But they were just on a whole nother level. And yeah. those are people that we can look to and we can learn from and we can aspire to be like them. Yeah. And I think that's the best way to go about our lives, even in leadership roles. Yeah, for sure. So, I mean, you know, you look at, like you said, you've been reading about uh, Abu Bakr and Omar. Mm. You look at their lives, but their leadership styles, and it's something you learn from, and mm. you adapt um, from, you know, from reading about them. Yeah, exactly.